Czech President Petr Pavel, the army could be sent to Ukraine. Czech President Petr Pavel did not rule out the possibility of sending foreign troops to Ukraine. He said that European leaders should not limit themselves in terms of assistance to Kyiv. Pavel urged Ukraine's partners to extend the forms of aid for Ukraine, including the presence of foreign troops in Ukraine. He noted that it was not about sending combat units, but about different forms of aid and non-combat participation. I endorse searching for new ways to help including continuing the discussion about a possible military presence in Ukraine. Let's not impose limits on ourselves if we do not have to, Pavel said, adding that Europe must play a bigger role in deterring Russia. Pavel added that there was no difference whether Ukrainian soldiers would undergo training with Western instructors abroad or directly in Ukraine. Ukraine remains a sovereign state, even though it was attacked, he said noting that a possible training mission is not a violation of any international rules. We decide on our own which form of aid to choose, he added. The Kremlin has warned that if NATO sends combat troops, a direct conflict between the alliance and Russia would be inevitable. Last month, Pavel announced at a security conference in Munich that the Czechs had identified 800,000 pieces of artillery ammunition in various countries and were seeking funding for their acquisition to ship to Ukraine. About 15 countries, including Britain, Belgium, Denmark, Canada, Sweden and the Netherlands, have voiced their support for the plan, the Czech government said. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg, as well as leaders of Germany, the UK, Sweden, Poland and other European NATO member states, ruled out sending Western troops to Ukraine. Later, Estonian Prime Minister Kaja Kalas noted that European leaders should not exclude this possibility, saying this could be a signal to Russia. Canadian Defence Minister Bill Blair said that his country was ready to send a limited number of military personnel to Ukraine, but only to train Ukrainian soldiers and not for participation in hostilities. During a two-hour State of the Nation address, Russian President Vladimir Putin threatened tragic consequences if NATO troops were sent to Ukraine, claiming the West's support for Kyiv risks a conflict using nuclear weapons. European Union ambassadors should be kicked out from Russia, former Russian president. Ambassadors from European Union member states should be expelled from Russia, former president Dmitry Medvedev has said, citing their refusal to discuss election meddling with foreign minister Sergei Lavrov. Ambassadors of the EU states to Russia declined a meeting with the Russian minister of foreign affairs, allegedly following some advice from Brussels. Medvedev wrote on X, This goes totally against the very idea of the existence of diplomatic missions and assignments of ambassadors. All these ambassadors should be kicked out of Russia, and the level of diplomatic relations should be demoted. Medvedev, who is currently the deputy chairman of Russia's Security Council, wrote, He slammed the EU diplomats as political imbeciles who do not comprehend their real tasks. Speaking at a youth event in Russia's Black Sea town of Sirius on Monday, Lavrov said that Moscow had invited EU envoys for a meeting in order to warn them against meddling in the upcoming presidential election. The authorities have gathered a lot of materials about foreign support for the opposition in Russia, the minister said, without elaborating. I simply wanted to tell the ambassadors that we are recommending not to conduct such activities, Lavrov said. And you know what? Two days before the planned event, we received a diplomatic letter saying we have decided not to attend. Russian business news agency RBK cited the EU mission in the country as confirming that the envoys had ignored the invitation. We were invited to discuss the relations between the EU and Russia, but now Minister Lavrov is saying that he wanted to lecture us. This proves that we were right to decline the invitation, the spokesperson said. The EU mission also cited the low level of trust as a result of the ongoing Ukraine conflict as well as the recent death of jailed opposition activist Alexei Navalny. Relations between Russia and many Western countries have hit historic lows in recent years due to the standoff over Ukraine and other grievances including disagreement over security in Europe and NATO expansion. Canada to consider sending military instructors to Ukraine.
Canada will consider sending military instructors to Ukraine if certain conditions are met. However, these conditions do not yet exist, according to Canadian Defence Minister Bill Blair. Any Canadian troops will be deployed only for non-combat functions. The Defence Minister emphasises that conditions in Ukraine need to change before Canadian troops can return to the country where they trained Ukrainian soldiers on the ground before the Russian invasion. Right now, circumstances are not appropriate for that training to take place in Ukraine, but we're going to continue to train, Blair says. Canada has trained over 40,000 Ukrainian soldiers as part of Operation Unifier, which began in 2015 after Russia's occupation of Crimea. However, after the Russian invasion, the Canadian military moved its training operations to the UK, Latvia and Poland. We have had a number of discussions with Ukrainians that suggest when the conditions are right, we may be able to return, Blair says. Leaving the possibility of returning to Ukraine open, Blair emphasizes that the Canadian armed forces cannot have any combat role or what could be perceived as a combat role. Earlier, French President Emmanuel Macron has not ruled out the possibility that NATO could send troops to help Ukraine. The main problem, he said, is that there is currently no consensus on this issue. Some NATO countries have already opposed this idea, including Germany, the Czech Republic, Bulgaria, Spain and Italy. At the same time, some countries are ready to consider such a possibility, such as Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia. Canada, which is also a NATO member, has said it is ready to send troops to Ukraine, but only to train Ukrainian defenders in areas far from the front.